Hello, it's Jim Brown here with the Outrig Project in Multi-Hull History with a little something that just may turn out to be, quote, historic for the Windrider 17 trimaran. Instead of the trampolines, notice that big rigid platform on deck. This is what we call the Windfisher Option. Ever since the 17-footer was introduced in 2002, we've known that they were just really enjoyed for safe, fun, family day sailing. But we've also known they'd do many other things. You could really hot dog them hard in a blow. They could be packed up on a trailer and hauled off to remote destinations, probably the most trailerable of the collapsible multi-hulls. And you could launch them anywhere, even without a launching ramp. One guy could step the mast with a little practice. It's always nice to have help. And you could abuse them. You could drag them over the rocks and get away with it. They were enormously durable compared to fiberglass boats. You could load them up with all kinds of camping gear and head out into big water and really bash along, even to windward. Choosing our weather, we have taken these boats to sea in places like Baja and Big Sur for marvelous adventures in the Windrider 17. But now, with this Windfisher option, we have a giant step in the versatility of these boats. We can spend the night on board, whether in the campground or out in the anchorage. This thing is a simple plywood platform that anyone can build himself and it's rigid enough to waltz around on. It fits the boat whether she is open for sailing as on the left here or telescoped in for trailering as on the right. Now the tent can be rolled up and stored across the forward end of the platform. It's easy to install and you can leave it there while sailing. But when you stop for the night, you can unroll that baby, and with the hoops already partially installed, it's easy to set up. And down inside, you can set up this nifty little table to sit around. You can also use the table in a bedside configuration like so, and the whole arrangement is far more comfortable than tenting on the ground. My friends Ron and Michelle tended to agree. Right. There's actually uh, lots of room in here, Jim. Uh, surprisingly amount of room. A lot of room. stowage room. You can put your sleeping bag, you know, one corner. Uh huh. Yeah, this would really be cozy. I can see myself doing this. We got a little uh, homemade stew going here. <laughs> <laughs> I could fish. I could have my rod in the water right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you full, honey? Yeah, thank you, dear. <laughs> And then I show them how the bunk pads can be pulled over together, which leaves about a foot of space around the outside for your clutter. And the sleeping bags can then be doubled up to make a comfortable double bunk here, a virtual playground. But they thought it was a little too cold to model that for me. But now, what's this windfisher business about? Well, it's about a lot more than just rod holders. Now this is what I call a fishing machine. Huh? <laughs> you can sit here in your padded armchair, reach over and grab the rod, huh? and handle the motor at the same time. And as a matter of fact, they say that the real way to catch fish is under sail. So you can sit here and sail all at the same time. Let's say you troll quietly out to your favorite spot and anchor. There's room for up to four people to fish from deck chairs. Or you can sit at the table with your tackle box. Lunchtime, easy access to your food and drinks. Too much sun? Hey, how about the umbrella? It adjusts to four different elevations and at low sun angles you can rotate it around. But if the fish aren't biting you can always put on some tunes and kick back and muse about the enormous variety of junkets that this fuel stingy little boat can take you on. 
<laughs> Off we go! Including the quiet times when you can even sneak up on the fish. <laughs> but best of all, to me, is that in reasonable comfort, you can fix yourself a decent meal, have a very private party if you want, and spend the night on board. So if you might be interested in the Windfisher platform for your Windrider 17, you can build it yourself. We may consider offering plans and even kits. So please respond direct to Dean at windrider.com. And in the meantime, this is Jim Brown wishing you good sailing, fishing, and camping. Fair winds. <laughs>